And what did you say in response when Miss Heard said, tell the world, Johnny, tell them Johnny Depp, I, Johnny Depp, a man, I'm a victim to of domestic violence? I said, yes, I am. I have nothing further, Your Honor. Okay, so Johnny Depp versus Amber Heard is probably the topic that's the most requested on my channel right now. The ongoing defamation lawsuit ends up trending every day, and though it's not the kind of topic I tend to cover, I do think it's important to acknowledge because there's a lot of things going on with it. The case is tied in so heavily with Depp and Amber's career, and it means a lot for the future of not only the DCEU, but also several films surrounding it. Now, I have my own opinions on the case, and it definitely seems like in the court of public opinion that Depp is completely demolishing Heard's team. We're pretty much at the halfway point now, and I really wanted to do more of an analytical video on why that could be, the main factors leading into it, and what the consequences for either side could be if the trial goes in their favour. Now, I have my own opinions on who's winning, but I'm going to try and keep them out of this as much as possible, as domestic abuse is a very serious subject that I don't really want to make the wrong statement on by dropping an off-the-cuff comment. With Heard also being a figurehead in the Me Too movement, there's some really untold negative things that could come from this if she's found guilty, and I don't want to put the impression in anyone's head that women shouldn't be taken seriously because of what the outcome is. All accusations of domestic abuse should be seen as very serious things, so yeah, just keeping my opinion out of this as much as I possibly can. Now it will be difficult, as this is something that everyone's going to have their own perspective on, but I think in a video like this, it's important to keep my personal view to one side, as it can often cloud the analysis. Anyway, like many people, I was very much on the side of Amber Heard when the accusations first came out. These were extremely serious things that she was lobbying against Depp, and the images of her bruises and so on definitely made it look like she was the sole victim in all of this. The Me Too movement then happened, and it felt like a very positive thing that was removing lots of predators and abusers from high-profile positions so that they couldn't do it anymore. I must admit I wasn't a massive Johnny Depp fan, and though I liked some of his movies, he wasn't someone whose career I followed all the time. Now the papers completely tore him apart, and there was very much a pylon on the internet to the point it became difficult for the guy to make a public appearance without being called a wife beater. I remember when the guy appeared on stage as Grindelwald during a Fantastic Beast panel, and yet it was a very bad luck due to the accusations. However, over time there started to be people going to his defence, including high profile celebrities and his loyalist supporters. Lots of evidence came to the forefront that seemed to debunk all of Hurt's claims, and over time, things have kind of swung in the favour of Johnny, with it seeming less and less likely that he was the only person at fault. Now Depp and Heard had a face off in court in the UK, and he ended up losing it, which pretty much meant he had to be ousted from Fantastic Beasts. Though there was lots of evidence that he supplied showing Heard was in fact the abusive one, this verdict very much meant that Warner Brothers had to let go of Depp from one of their flagship franchises. Now Heard managed to keep her role in Aquaman, even with all the photos of bruises, Depp's injuries, and the recordings. A petition started online to have her removed from the role, and it currently has millions of signatures on it, but up till now, she's remained in place. Now that kind of takes us to the current case, which is now on its ninth day. Things have done a complete 180 since the original statement by Heard, and it seems like everyone's on Depp's side. There's lots of comments that I've seen asking why Depp has even come to court after the previous loss, but I think when you look at what's happened, he has very little to lose. Depp has been branded a wife beater, and if he loses, he's still going to be called that. This is at least getting his side of the story out there, because it's rare that men are taken as seriously as women in domestic abuse cases. On the other side of this, if Amber loses, it not only destroys her career, but it potentially exposes her for what she really is. Now for this part of the video, I want to firstly discuss the psychological aspects that are in effect to show why Deb is clearly more favourable over Heard. This boils down to the legal team's approach, and how it very much mirrors what Deb is accusing Amber of. Now court hearings are very different in normal arguments and interactions. In real life, if someone was standing around saying you'd done this and that, you'd probably stand up, deny it, argue with them, and then that would escalate. However, in a court, people have to remain silent whilst the person they're against testifies, and thus they can't respond or apply to it. Because of this, the legal team very much becomes the voice of their client, and it's in this that it can also leave an impression on the jury. Now, during the statement by Depp and Heard's marriage counsellor, she said that Johnny didn't really have a voice in their sessions. Amber constantly talked over the top of him, and would interrupt whenever he said something that wasn't going her way. This is very much reflected in Heard's legal team. It's getting to the point that there's TikTok videos memeing how many objections and comments like hearsay are said by Heard's lawyers. Objection calls for hearsay. Let, let me ask you a different question, Mr. Depp. 
Yes. Um, Let's let him object to another one. Um, He'd had a conversation with Ms. Hurd. Let's move beyond the no, conversation that Kevin Murphy had with Ms. Hurd. He said, yes, they had. Okay. It appears that Ms. Hurd had told her. Here's the What she would like for him to cook. That's hearsay, I guess. I know, I just serves off of the truth of the matter, sir. He got it. Okay, all right, well then. I'm learning. Now, what this does is that it reinforces the idea in the jury that Johnny doesn't have a voice. Like the marriage counselor said, Johnny keeps getting interrupted, so her defense doing this makes it seem like Heard also did the same thing. Now on the flip side of this, Johnny's defense are quite chilled, laid back, and for the most part, they let people talk and answer the questions without interrupting them, so it seems like Johnny is that way too. The jury subconscious will be affected by this, so that Amber's side seems like the aggressive one. Hell, it's even gotten so bad that Heard's lawyers are objecting their own questions. You didn't know what could cause damage to Mr. Depp's hand while you were there on March 8th, correct? Dr. Kepler told me he sustained an injury on well, one of his well, fingers. Well, objection, here's hearsay. Wait, you, you asked the question. Oh, oh. Next. Okay, you said <laughs> Yikes. It's really bad, and the other aspects that I think they're failing on is the fact they're going after drug abuse rather than domestic abuse. Throughout the trial, they've tried to expose that Johnny was addicted to drugs and also alcohol. If you do a statement like this once, it can be quite shocking, especially with Depp being such a big star. We typically tend to think of actors as role models, so if used effectively, this can be very, very damaging. However, if you keep mentioning it, it normalizes the thing so that the shock factor is removed, and what you're left with is us hearing the same point over and over and over. Being addicted to drugs doesn't mean that you're an abusive person, so it's belaboring the point a bit to constantly keep bringing this up time and time again. This is made worse by the fact that the evidence they have for Johnny being abusive is very, very small, and nothing that can be completely proven. The counsellor said there was mention of an open-handed slap during a therapy session, but it's inconsequential when played next to the recordings of Heard on tape admitting to hitting Johnny. Now to me, the drug thing should be the first step that sets up Heard's team leading into the domestic abuse. However, when the drugs take the focus, you completely lose the attention on the domestic side of it, and end up just putting all your eggs in the proverbial basket of that, which doesn't necessarily give weight to any of the accusations. So I think the two main reasons that Heard's team is failing is because they're very much acting in attack mode but providing very little behind what they're saying. So they're going off on a certain path and trying to stop someone from giving their statement whilst also interrupting the show they have very little to actually give reason to why they're objecting. Now in recent days some of the audio played by the lawyers was really bad and Johnny referred to there being a bloodbath like there was at the island. Depp wasn't asked questions on this so he couldn't elaborate which again, backs up the idea that he's not really getting a voice, even though he has been testifying a lot. Now, context like this is important, and several texts have been presented by Heard's team between Depp and Paul Bettany. They talk about burning her, doing stuff with her corpse, and it looks really bad. However, Depp explained that he has a dark sense of humour, and that these are direct quotes from Monty Python in a scene about burning a witch. It kind of strips Heard's team of them being the ammo that they initially thought it to be. Now, there's also the Milani makeup statement. Heard's evidence has been questioned highly since she made her statement about Johnny, and she's often regarded as making the whole thing up and faking attacks for sympathy. There are several instances where she's apparently been heavily battered, but the next day when she's appeared on TV, she's been absolutely fine. During a statement, her lawyers showed a makeup palette. I think, I think it's called a palette, no idea. Anyway, they showed a, a Milani makeup palette that had apparently been in her purse for their entire relationship. They said it had been what she'd used to cover up her bruises, but Milani put out a post saying the kit wasn't available until they'd already broken up. Kit, I think kit is right. So and anyway, this kind of shuts down her argument even more. And though the jury might not end up factoring this into their final thoughts, it is important to bear in mind. Now the way that the trial ramped up was a very good strategy by Depp's team, and they brought in recordings where he talked about possibly taking his own life. This lay the groundwork for how Heard had pushed him to the brink, and it was absolutely devastating to hear. They then topped it off by playing audio clips of the argument between Depp and Heard. Did you hear what I said? I don't care. 
Okay. There's plenty of things you've done. Plenty of things you've fucking done. That were absolute fucking lies. I didn't I'm not ever even fuck with you about it. So anyway, don't leave it. So I'll see you in a bit. Yeah? Is that what matters? Your lies? Is this what matters to you, your party? Your lies, I I never led you. And what we're talking about tonight is what? Who are you? This then went into depth confronting her and trying to work with her to confront the media. Hey, we just gotta stop this. Just gotta stop it. I don't know how to get my um, reputation back. We write a letter together. Is that me? Saying that we're gonna take this out of the public eye. Saying that we're gonna try and work this out on, on our own saying that the media has created such a fucking hateful storm that it's sickening that we love each other and that we want to make sure each other is okay have we had fights in the past have we had this or whatever fuck it they already know all that shit don't matter here's the deal oh it matters it makes i, I have been I have, that you have no idea, every ounce of my credibility has been taken from, I mean, and done so in a dishonest way, you know? Amber, it, for it, ab well, on, you no, know? the abuse, the abuse thing is, 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 is we've got to deal with that, yeah. We've got to I, deal I with that, Amber. I don't have any way of, my credit is, it's my credibility, you know what, I don't. And I, why I, did you put that out there? I did not. Force me to by going on the offense. I didn't force you to. I promise. Look up the timeline to these things. Everything is. Forget it. Forget it. You don't believe what I say. You don't believe what I say. But I. I did not. I did not choose this. Every step of the way has been an offense. I did not put this anywhere. I didn't. Let me talk to the fucking team. I did not call the cops. I need to. Io called the I cops. Did not call the cop. You told Io to call the cops. I did, not, I did not call the cops and I did not give them any statement when they came. I've been trying to protect you. I you told Io to call the cops. When? When? While it, while it was happening? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry because the last time that it got crazy between us, I really did think I was going to lose my life and I thought you would do it on accident. And I told you that. I said, oh my god, I thought the first time. Amber, I, I oh, lost a fucking no, finger, man. Come on. I had a fucking, I, I had a fucking, a I, mineral can, a jar, a can of mineral spirits thrown at my nose. I, I, at this point it ramped up to what is very much going to be remembered as the quote that I think will be what people take from this trial. I, you can please tell people that it was a fair fight and see what the, see what the jury and judge think. Tell the world, Johnny. Tell the world Johnny did it. Tell the world Johnny Depp did it. Tell the Man, I'm, I'm a victim too, Domestic Violence, and yes. I know it's a fair fight. It's these probably people believe or side with you. This then got asked as the final question. And what did you say in response when Miss Heard said, tell the world, Johnny, tell them Johnny Depp, I, Johnny Depp, a man, I'm a victim too of domestic violence? I said, yes, I am. I have nothing further, Your Honor. It's a massive mic drop and such a major way to end Depp's statement that it will be the thing many people remember him for saying. Very well planned out and it completely rocks Heard's defence. Now you might have noticed externally that the media have stopped spinning it in a certain way. They used to use quite bad headlines about Depp and how he was a white beater but now it seems a lot more balanced. Now from here I think that Warner Brothers are left with very little option over what to do with Amber. Unless she's vindicated in the next three weeks then they have to get rid of her. Don't know how they're going to do it, just have Mira drown off screen or something, people don't seem to care, and it might be the one thing that finally unites all of the DC fandom. Now firing her, they have to do it because they very much set the standard by firing Johnny, and it'll look like double standards if they don't get rid of her. They kind of made the rules, I think a lot of anger around this case boils down to the double standards surrounding the whole thing. So yeah, I think it's a really bad luck, and either way, they might get rid of her even if she wins. 
She's even getting booed leaving the court, and the petition against her is constantly clocking up names. Jason Momoa even followed Johnny Depp on Instagram recently, and with him being the star of Aquaman, it could show how things are going. Now, I have heard that Warner Brothers kind of preempted this trial and that they ended up cutting down Amber's role by quite a lot. They could even end up recasting before that movie, depending on what the cost and backlash is. Now, that's pretty much how we view the trial and why we think it's going a certain way. Like I've said, we're only halfway through at the moment, so it could all really change, and things like this can reverse on one piece of evidence, so I wouldn't say it's in the bag for Johnny. We will find out who wins very soon, but in the meantime, I want to hear your comments whether you'd like to see more coverage and how you think it's going. Comment below and let me know and thanks for checking out the video. You take care, peace.